Hello and welcome to my little neck of the woods here in northeastern Washington State on this cold wintry day. I'm Helene and I'm going to do a review on three different winter traction devices for your shoes or boots for those of you who enjoy getting out year round and taking a nice walk or even those who need some assist just going to your car to and from if you get a lot of ice build up in winter time which we do and we get layers layers of ice thick sheets of ice it becomes an ice skating rink This is solid ice, as you can see. And it is below this surface of about three to four inches of now compacted snow from the snow we had a few days ago. And then we'll be getting more snow a few days after that. It might warm up just a little bit enough to melt that layer and then at night when the temperatures really dip down then it refreezes so we get all these layers of ice snow ice snow throughout the winter and once winter really comes in full bloom it doesn't melt and it just keeps building and building so i enjoy getting out there year round but i also want to be safe at the same time and really sometimes like i had just said it's for me just going from the door to the garage, I need to wear something to, to uh, keep from slipping and to having traction and security so I can feel safe. Or sometimes out and about in town, depending on where that is and the layers of buildup that they have. So I have three different ones. I'll show you the first, second, and then my most recent, and which is my favorite and why, and what I like and don't like about them. So our first year, we're going into our eighth winter now, and the first year I had picked up the Yak Tracks, Y-A-K-T-R-A-X, Winter Traverse, it calls, a unique spikeless patented coil design. They are very lightweight. They are easy to get on and off, and the rubber is very stretchy. And you know, there's not much to them as you can see. The front portion, the tip goes over the front of your shoe. And then this fits along the bottom surface, of course, and up the back of your heel. But the type of ice buildup that we get here, I was not confident as the package said. And I still had slippage on certain areas, especially going up or down like an incline. And so that was concerning. Uh, this is abrasion resistant 1.2 millimeter steel coils, and it really does conform to the shape of your boot or shoe, and it provides 360 degrees of traction. It says on packed snow and ice, and can be worn in temperatures as low as minus 41 degrees Fahrenheit. But I, uh, yeah, these just, for me, did not work real well and they're my least preferred out of the three and the most recent are the ones that give me the most stability traction and security all right so yak tracks y-a-k-t-r-a-x i'd love to know if any of you have these have used them if you like them if you've had a similar experience as i did with slippage or um, if they worked really well for you. And the second pair I got was probably a year later, and these are by Due North. Now these have like a thumbtack type of spikes on them, thicker than, than thumbtacks, but that's what they remind me of. The tips are not pointy, they are flat on the top. Hopefully you can see that better on this one. Okay, and four on the top of your foot and two on the heel. These actually, even that they have the minimal amount of spikes, they gripped 
really pretty well. And I wore these for a, several years and I think I've pretty much worn them out. However, I did have occasional slippage, not as much as the Yak Tracks, okay, but still somewhat. And I just felt that there was something better out there that would really give that stability so even though when I'm out there walking I can get in a good walk and and not really feel like I'm walking on ice or kind of tiptoeing on eggshells especially if I'm going up or down a hill but um, these were pretty inexpensive I think they were in the $20 range I I don't recall on the Yak Tracks, but I'm sure you can find those online on Amazon. Uh, these I got at home shopping online network type of thing. And I was, I was pretty happy with them. I mean, like, you know, compared to the Yak Tracks and they easily stretch. They have a very stretchy rubber front and back and conformed over my shoe pretty well. And you can see the rubber is starting to give a little bit and, and kind of split, look a little dog-eared at the top, but that was just from years of use and for the price point, they lasted pretty well, but I still wanted to go uh, up another level. So um, last year, my husband and I stopped at an Outfitters mountaineering type of store and looked around, and, and that's when I was first exploring this, the snowshoes, and I found these, which I thought were very interesting. They are by Katula, K-A-H-T-O-O-L-A, and these are called Nano Spikes. And the price point on these, they're $50, $49.95, but you know, if it saves your neck, saves you from slipping and falling and cracking your head or breaking a, a limb, I mean, it's, it's worth every penny. And again, these have the unisex sizes and I went for the medium on this one. And it has the range, there we go, of sizes at the top, which go from extra small to extra large. Okay, and I, again, I have the medium. And I already tell you, I wear a size nine narrow shoe anyway and I typically wear boots in the winter time thought I brought my boot out here hang on a sec I'm going to grab that because I want to show you how these slip on okay all right here's one that I wear I also have a slimmer profile uh, that I wear that is um, my going to town boot <laughs> and they're more tapered. And then I also have a thicker, heavier duty, tall boot for when we really get a lot of packed snow and it's it's three feet deep and um, I'm out there walking or I use, will be using that one for snowshoeing. But hands down, my opinion, these are the best. And they have a, they're a really, I mean, you can just see the difference in the construction and and how they're engineered. Uh, the rubber is much thicker and there's just a lot more to it. And they're substantial, but they're not heavy. And the spikes on the bottom, they're not like the thumb tacks, they're, they're thicker and they um, have layered depths, as you can see, to how they are raised, and then they're embedded into the center, and they're not as high as the due north, okay, but they're thicker. And you get six on the back end, the heel, the center, and going into your heel, and then four on the top. And this is, to me, like having studded tires for your feet. They are sturdy, they're secure, they don't slip and slosh around on the shoe at all, they stay put. Oh, and another thing which reminded me about these is just the coils I could feel through the bottoms of um, the other, the slimmer profile boots, 
and they hurt my feet and I felt off balance. And if any of you have plantar fasciitis, these could really aggravate it a lot. I, I just did not feel stable at all. These kind of become one with me. And I, I go out there and I just kind of trek all over the place. And even when I hit ice down below the surface of the few inches of snow, they work really well. Anyway, these are just terrific. Size medium, it even says here on the top, this goes to, I don't know if you can see that with the lighting, but it says front. So that's the front of your foot. There is no left or right. And it even comes with a little bag. And now they have a couple of different styles and here it shows you how it fits on the shoe, but I'm gonna show you real quick. A couple of different styles. Now this says walk, run, and train. And you know, maybe if you're younger or really sure-footed, I don't know. I wouldn't run in these myself. I read reviews, some people do, and they work great for them and are totally comfortable. And it might depend on the surface also. But uh, these are evolved spike designs. It bites into icy sidewalks and roads. And they're makers of the award-winning Micro Spikes footwear traction but you can go lighter and faster with the nano spikes. And they have different styles. They are available on Amazon for the same price and they have some that have the uh, the crampons, which are, are the ribbed teeth, like a, a bar, a row uh, that go along different areas of the bottom. Um, such as you would find on snowshoes and <clears throat> or that people that do have rock climbing in the winter time uh, that's what those remind me of so you can compare look at the different styles if you're looking for something like this and see what you like best but one thing i do want to say that regardless of what style that you get be careful on the surfaces that you're walking them on if you're going like from your house to your vehicle or to the road because you don't want to walk on a surface that is slick per se, uh, that is a non-icy surface, for example, your indoor flooring, if it's not carpeted. Because number one, you, you can mar it <laughs> and punch holes in it. And number two, it will be really slick, like on concrete that isn't iced, especially the coil. They, they become like having ice on your feet and you can make, you know, your legs can go right out from under you. Okay, so just to show you real quick, so it's just, and it's much easier, of course, when you're actually um, sitting down and, and having the leverage of your body putting these on. But they were a little tight at first because the rubber is so substantial. Oh, and these are made in Taiwan. Don't know if I mentioned that. In case you're wondering they were when I, I bought them last year so they fit over the top and then of course they just come up on the back side just like that and really really good traction they stay up and they adjust to all three of my winter footwear I love them they're great and you can see how flush they are to the shoe itself. And so therefore it's why I just really feel uh, se secure and like it's just part of my shoe. And it doesn't mar the suede or make any marks or anything on the top of either uh, any of my boots or my going to town boots. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. All right, well I hope that this was helpful and if you like the hat and cowl set that I'm wearing, it's a tutorial I did last year, I will leave the link below. Okay, well, take care, everyone, and I will see you again next time. Stay warm, stay cozy, stay safe, and have some fun. <laughs> Bye for now.